Uh, next, we want to highlight some of the challenges that are faced when deploying model monitoring tools in a large scale practical setting. To, just for the purpose of illustrating these challenges and making the discussion concrete, uh, we will use uh, Fiddler's model performance management platform as the reference. The first dimension is who is the stakeholder? The stakeholders can range from, let's say the data or machine learning teams who may want to understand whether the models are performing as ex expected, how to improve their models through better feature engineering or better training data collection, when to retrain the models, when to think about different types of models uh, and so forth. The second type of stakeholders could be uh, those who are involved in the IT operations, they may want to understand whether the models are in a healthy condition over time. Uh, they may want to respond to customer queries and complaints and debug issues. The third category could be uh, various business users, including product managers, product leaders, and uh, business decision makers who want to understand how business metrics are influenced by the machine learning models and whether the machine learning models are contributing to the overall business and the, driving the metrics in the desired direction. The final types of stakeholders uh, are from say legal or regulatory backgrounds or auditing backgrounds. So often these uh, users could be part of the same organization for example, in the case of a large uh, financial services institution, they may have a compliance and legal team. And this category of stakeholders may want to understand whether the models are compliant with various regulations and are free from biases. So the first challenge is how do we provide an interface which caters to the needs of different types of stakeholders? Yeah, so in the case of Fiddler, uh, we provide a centralized view wherein one can get a feel for the all the different models and, and get a feel for the models which may be uh, problematic or models where alerts may have been triggered or uh, issues may have been observed. The, the second dimension is um, a, a balance between having too many alerts and too few alerts. The risk with having too many alerts is that if there is a large fraction of false positives, people may develop alert fatigue and may start not paying attention to alerts generated by the system. The, at the same time, if, if there are too few alerts, there is a risk of missing out important alerts and uh, as a result, false negatives. So this is a key challenge which remains uh, in this space of model monitoring. And there may be, interesting uh, applied research challenges associated with deciding what's the right level of alerts as well. Uh, so in, in the case of uh, Fiddler, we, we show th these alerts in a centralized fashion and also provide explanations associated with the each model so that the one can get appropriate context. Let's now look at uh, one of the dimensions, which is about monitoring the machine learning models. Uh, so as shown in the diagram at the left top, uh, one can monitor and compare the distribution of production data uh, as compared to the baseline or reference data and determine whether there, there may be changes which may be resulting from changes in the environmental or real world conditions. Next, uh, one can also uh, keep track of the accuracy if the labels are present and uh, the platform supports delayed labels wherein the labels are obtained after some period of time and then you can still incorporate those labels and compare how the mo model's uh, accuracy or other metrics are changing over time. The third uh, type is what's shown at the right top, uh, which is uh, different types of data integrity issues, ranging from missing values, 
uh, type mismatch errors, schema mis mismatch errors, and so forth. So forth. Um, the fourth category is uh, around uh, identifying different types of biases, especially biases resulting from intersectionality, combining more than one demographic or other dimensions uh, into account. The, the primary reason for all of these components is to detect any potential issues at the early, earliest and then figure out how to resolve those issues and, and resolve these issues before significant impact has occurred, either in terms of significant uh, bias to certain groups of users or significant impact to revenue or other business metrics associated with the machine learning service. Next, uh, let's look at how one can explain the behavior of the machine learning models and debug issues. Yeah, so here we are showing an example of a lending model, which is making decisions for each uh, lending application, loan application. So we can uh, understand why the model decided to approve or deny each loan application. So this can be done in terms of understanding which are the most important uh, features using techniques such as uh, SHAP or other variants. We can either do that at a per query level or at a global level over the entire model, or also perform the segment level analysis. For example, we, we may want to understand the features which are most important or least important for loans which originate in California. Uh, the next aspect is uh, once we identify the attributions, we can also then go and uh, see whether they align with the intuitive or domain expertise, whether the important features agree with what we expect, and if not, whether there is something that needs to be done. The, also, here we show an example of uh, a what-if interface where one can change the feature values and see the impact on the feature importance as well as the model prediction. And this can help to de debug issues, even uh, understand whether the model may be sensitive to small perturbations in the input or what changes cause the model prediction to flip, uh, so on and so forth. Next, by performing such analysis, uh, the goal eventually is to iterate and improve the models. Uh, for example, one can compare the ch champion and challenger models in the case of A-B testing, or uh, figure out how to improve the training by identifying the segments of the data which may have low accuracy or other uh, performance metrics, perhaps so, uh, Add, identify uh, more data that needs to be collected for such segments, or even identify that there may be issues with the labeling of data for those segments. Um, as discussed before, we can also perform counterfactual or what if analysis and compare the importances of features for different models or different segments, and also perform comparison of a specific segment versus the entire model. Uh, so this is just to illustrate different types of analysis that one can do or one may want to do uh, in a large scale uh, practical setting. 